Hey everyone, welcome back to Mark Loeffler Experience. Well, you get another market update today because, well, because the board I belong to, Information Technology Systems Ontario, which is called ITSO, they get their numbers out basically at 12.01 on December 1st or whatever the first of the month. These are just the member associations, Barry, Brantford, Guelph, Huron, Perth, Kawartha Lakes, Kingston, London, St. Thomas, Mississauga, Niagara, North Bay, Peterborough, Kawartha, Quinty, Great Bruce, Owen Sound, Simcoe District, the Lakelands, Oakland, Milton, Waterloo Region, Woodstock, and we have an agreement with the Hamilton RAB, which is Hamilton Burlington, which also gets the information on this channel. <clears throat> this channel being ITSO. So if you see this and you're wondering why I don't maybe talk about your area is because they don't belong here and they don't provide that information and sometimes they don't provide it like Trev until a week into the month. But yet here we go. Oh, I don't say it very often and I should say it more. This video is brought to you by Catano Loeffler Real Estate Services. If you're looking to buy a home, sell a home or invest in real estate, you should definitely give us a call and I'd be happy to help you or one of our team members. All right. So let's see this. So here we have average price. And I know, world is falling, it's, the sky is falling, and it's so bad, and you shouldn't buy real estate, and if you buy real estate now, you're gonna get crushed. Get it, I get it. Comment down below though. Still, I love it when you guys comment. It makes me feel better about myself when I'm right in six years or so. I don't know. Who knows how long this is gonna take to shake out. At the end of the day, we are still going down in price. So from October to November, we had about, what's that? You know, $6,000, about a 0.75% drop. You know, if we had that increase in a month, typically back in like this, this normal period, we'd be quite happy. Well, that's actually big, that was like two, 3%. Anyways, but if we had those types of gains, we'd be happy. Now, should we be happy that we've had that 0.75% loss? Well, I yes and no. I, I think yes, because you know, it's, I see this slowing. I see this pretty level, slowing, natural timing of the market. This is always like November, December or slower real estate periods. And you know, we had this huge, huge mountain we had to come off. Like we probably could have started this in August last year. And I mean, let's look, oh, 752 to 742. So we're basically even. We're down 9% year over year from November. And I said it, um, I don't know how many times, and I'll say it again until people get it, that we are going to see year over year huge price drops of 30 to 40% come January, February. Even March is gonna be big. Well, because look, look, oh, we had February, look at that peak. And March, okay, it's not so bad, boom. Oh, boom, boom, boom. We sled it down that hill. And then we're gonna come into a period where we're gonna see, you know, annualized price increase, decrease of two to 3%, give or take. Just an opinion, and especially here in Ontario, I do hear the home builders ads on the radio and I hear the other side's ads on the radio too. and. It's definitely interesting times that we live in. All right, so this is all of it. So, so yeah, we're down about three quarters of a percent. New listings are, oh, new listings are up. Well, they've been up the whole time. I just, this is not a shock, right? Last year we have a very shortage of listings, but it's only up 9%. But if we go back to, so what's that? 730, 7,300 7, compared to 7,900, you know, November 2020 was 7,300. November 2019, 6,800. So we're still seeing a lot more listings. Obviously homes for sale, oh, we actually dipped. So that's leveling off. So we're seeing as many homes for sale now as, you know, we did in the last, you know, last couple of months. So either things are selling, number one, we're getting less listings, number two, we're selling more homes, but you know, the houses that are coming off the market that aren't selling because they're overpriced, they're just getting taken off the market. But we just look back to November and you know, it's up 
from that, but it's up 255% since last year. So those are big numbers, right? So these are sales, all of it, so 4,000. 4, and you know, that, that's a pretty big decline from, from most normal November, 7,100 last year, 7,500 the year before, 6,200 in 2019. So that is a big decline, right? We are seeing that, but it tells me that houses are coming off the market because they're not selling. Video on Monday where we did Canada, we know that 51% of houses are selling, so that means that people are just canceling and not selling their houses. Days on market, look at that. We are pretty steady around 22 right now. Last three months, 22. So the median average is going up slightly to 34. Months of supply, obviously it dipped down, so we have three months of supply. And yeah, let's just see dollar volume for fun. So three billion compared to last November, which was almost six billion. So that's a big, pretty decent drop. All right, let's get into some different areas. Barry, London and North Bay, average sale price. Well, look at this. What's that, Brantford? Yeah, Brantford is up month over month. North Bay is up for the last two months. So this is a very, this is a reason why you need to work with market specific realtors in areas like these. Like if you don't, if you're not watching these stats and you're not in the market every day, well, you could obviously overprice it or underprice it and not not do an effective job for you, the seller or buyer. Barry, we're kind of flat, like we had August, we're kind of flat to August down 1%, but we jumped up from, from September, October, and we're back down. So that's what I probably will, I think we'll see here is, it feels like we're flat lining out over most things. Look at that, Waterloo is up the last couple months. I think that'll pop back, like I think next month, we might see that pop back down. Who knows, it might just continue to go up. Kingston, like that's been a surprise market, right? And that's up. Peterborough, you know, it's that's a you know decent decline month over month. So that's starting to really, I, that feels like it's starting to slow more out there. We got Hamilton, and we got these year over year numbers. You guys can look at those on the side. But Hamilton, uh, average price 672 compared to 676 last month. It's pretty steady. It's like, again, just a little bit less than three quarters of a point. Milton had a big jump up. And, you know, we'll, we'll look at the sale. Well, we'll pop over the sales numbers now. But you see Milton on here at 45 sales. So that really could be that there was one house that sold for an exorbitant amount of money, and that's skewing the average, right? And then Burlington was down pretty steeply, but it had that little jump up. So I think anytime we see that jump up, we're gonna see that decline the month after. And I think it's gonna be the steady, like this now, you know. So when we go from August, Burlington a million 30, to now 980, okay, we're down half half a percent. So it's not bad, but it looks bad from going from 1.1 to 980. And again, something skewed those numbers. That's why we look and we go look and we look back and we look at sales. We look at all these things because we don't want to skew the numbers. It's just Niagara Falls and St. Catharines. St. Catharines is coming up. Niagara Falls down from last month. Again, something probably skewed those numbers because let's look at sales. Yeah, sales are 65 in Niagara. Actually, they're up, which is you know, month over month. St. Catharines are down. But let's look at, like at the peak, like you were doing 214. Just some fun numbers, right? Fun with numbers with Mark. <laughs> All right, let's go. To, let's go to new listings. So, new listings are up across the board. Like 191 in Niagara, we saw sales there, 65 and 96. So that would tell me that one third of all houses are, that are listed in Niagara Falls are selling, and just a little bit under half of the homes selling in St. Catharines are listing in St. Catharines are selling. So Hamilton's listings are down year over year. That's that's it. That's that's a little weird because no no. Well, so is Oakville, so is Burlington, so is Milton. So we're seeing less listings in these areas. 
what happens when we see less in listings? Well, we see multiple offers. Like, and it was, it was priced for multiple offers. So it was priced competitively. We saw 21 offers on a property on Spruce in Burlington. But, you know, those are good signs that we're seeing less listings because that means there's gonna be less inventory on the market. So if you're looking to, well, if you're looking to buy, it's not good. If you're looking to sell, it's better, obviously. Do, do, do. The listings in these areas. So Peterborough's down, Kingston is up, which makes sense because the market is still stronger. Kitchener and Waterloo are both down. So we might see a tight market. Right? And this happens all the time, every time this year, as we see listings are down. But this is year over year stats, not month over month. So we're down from November of last year, but we did, and we went into like a severe shortage of housing when people were looking for a lot of housing. So it's gonna be interesting times. Brantford is up, North Bay is down huge, 38%, but I mean, when we're talking 45, that's really only like what, 15 homes? London's down small, Barry's down small. So that means the homes for sale are gonna come down, right? If, if listings are down, we're starting to see a lot less homes for sale. Like that should be like anybody who has, yeah, like you're flat or negative on homes for sale. And this happens every time this year because less people look for homes during November and December. I actually think it's a great time to buy. So look at that. Actually, Hamilton is up even though they were, they had less listings. Interesting. And then you got Niagara Falls, St. Catharines are pretty flat. All right, sales. Yep, obviously they're down 50%, 43% would tell me why the homes for sale overall are up. So we have listings down like 6% and sales down 50%. Obviously, there's still going to be more homes for sale than, than there would be. But this doesn't take into account listings that are canceling. So sales are down uh, 40, 37, 44, 51, 38, 40, 45, 54% in Brantford. And we did see a spike in, in listings there. So maybe not the best time. Didn't we? Hold on, let's go back to Brantford. Yeah, so I mean, not a spike, but it was up 12%. But months of supply. So North Bay still has a very, like less than a month worth of supply of homes. So if every house sold on the market, and this is probably why it's going up in price, London still two months, Barrie still 1.7, Brantford 2.4. And for it to be a seller's market, it's gotta be six months. We can do the math on this, right? Like we can, okay, Hamilton's getting in there, 3.8, Burlington 3.2, Oakville, Milt. And again, Milton went up in price because it has less inventory at this time. So I guess these are correct. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They're just stats. Niagara Falls 4.6 coming into that uh, seller's market territory. So it might be a good opportunity to buy some cash flow and properties out there. St. Catharines. Just anecdotally, like we're offering on turnkey triplexes in Hamilton that actually cash flow with 10% down with today's interest rates. Not huge, but they cash flow. So if you guys are interested in buying turnkey cash flow properties, reach out to us. We're happy to help. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram or comment down below. I'll get back to you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. We'll chat to you next time.